Morning. Sorry I'm late. Good morning. Hi. Good morning. I'm it's so okay. Sorry. <laughs> How dare you do work? I know. Yeah, right. I was like having so much fun researching and then I'm like, oh, look at the time. I'm supposed Ooh. to be on a show. Whoopsie. <laughs> oh. Did you uh find anything good? Anything juicy? Uh I mean, we were talking about Bigfoot cryptids, um, and I mean, I, I learned that the Loch Ness video was, like, not real due to Ooh. technology. I don't know. Little things like that. But I never really believed in the creature 100% either. Like in some Bigfoot? Bigfoot, Loch Ness, uh, uh, Chupacabra. Oh, man. When I was younger, I used to check out books from the library at school about, like, about all of that. About Bigfoot, about Loch Ness oh. Monster. Just so I could like learn about yeah I used to check out tons of books nice. like that because I was like really into the X Files in my area I can't remember what What's it is it though I gotta remember I gotta find it I gotta figure I gotta remember what it was all I know is that we do have one because I remember walking into this tiny little shop on the side of the road and uh because they had like those like roasted peanuts or something that my that my uh that my in laws wanted. And uh, I just remember they had like a uh, like taxidermy bus of uh, oh of, of the uh, of the of the cryptid that they are you that they use to scare the kids in the area. Oh, fun! <laughs> it's great. It's great. I love I need it. To, I kind of remember. I remember before. growing up. I remember growing up, we didn't have like Bigfoot or anything, but my mom would tell us about the chupacabra. <laughs> oh, no. yeah. yeah, that that is yeah. like scary. It's like a vampire wolf, so to speak. And I'm like, okay. yeah, it's like, and it sucks. It sucks blood. Um, uh huh. Yeah, they used to tell us that to like keep us inside whenever they didn't want us to go outside. Oh. Did it work? There was something yeah. else too. <laughs> there was something else. It was like a an owl, an owl with like red eyes too. Something else like if you that see would be that, Mothman. Like... There's Mothman up here in the uh... oh. Mothman. That's probably the one that you're thinking of. Yeah. Well, uh... Mothman is up in like West Virginia. Mm. My mom called it something else. She didn't call it Mothman though. But she said it was it was like a legend. Like if you see that, it's like a sign of death. Oh, fun. Some, you, you or someone in your family is going, yeah. I was like, why are you telling me that? She's like, now, I thought you liked this. Are you talking stuff. about an owl? Because there is a legend about owls out there about that. Yeah. Yeah, it was an owl. Okay. Mm -hmm. That's creepy, an and owl. I love it. The creepier, the better. <laughs> like, my mom always noted that as, like, a she, – she never knew if it was, like, a guardian angel for me, but – or a or an omen because whenever I was young I was um I was really sick and I was on a heart monitor all the time. And uh my my mom was telling me that whenever I was little, any she'd always remember that anytime like my heart monitor would start to go off, she'd hear an owl outside. Oh really? Really? Ooh, well, creepy. that's creepy. Yeah. I, I kinda like that. But like at the same time, creepy. <laughs> wow, Spirian in chat said he had a Bigfoot encounter when he was twelve. What? Did you wow. take pictures out of curiosity? Yeah. No. He said he loves Forbidden Kingdom <laughs> with X-ray girl. What? Oh, Forbidden Frontier. Or Forbidden Frontier. Yeah. Forbidden Frontier. Oh, okay. I was like, um, Forbidden Kingdom. Is this like an <laughs> Asian thing? Uh, maybe. <laughs> yeah, he said. He said. He said Frontier. My bad. <laughs> I'm just. I'm reading it as it's written. It's okay. My my English is horrible. It's fine. <laughs> How are you guys Asian. this morning? 
I had my coffee, so I'm good. Oh, nice. I uh, I woke up super early at like five o'clock, so I didn't think I needed an alarm to tell me what time oh, no. it was. So when I went to the bathroom, and that's when I was like, oh, crap, I'm going to be 10, 15 minutes late because I haven't gotten ready at all. So I apologize. Um, what, uh, what got you up so early? No idea. I was just, it just up. Felt like that yeah. happened. I feel like such an old lady saying that, like, yeah, you know, <laughs> my, my body just had to eat earlier this up. week. <laughs> but I know, uh, as you get older, you tend to just wake up just naturally <laughs> earlier. Mm. Some I exactly. don't. I want to, though. Well, you stay up, like, super late, to be fair. You're, like, a night owl. Yeah. That's true. I'd say out of the two types of sleepers. Um, I know Max is, like, an early morning person. Yeah. I'm all about that life. <laughs> I, swear, I, I feel not, like you wake up, bit. like, so happy every single morning. <laughs> like, <laughs> Me? And I'm ready to go. Yeah. I've seen him kind of grumpy in the morning. <laughs> <laughs> Just kind of. <laughs> Just a little bit. I think, even well. Even then, he was excited for Comic-Con, so we can't really know if that was, yeah, like, true, true grumpiness from Max or not. True grumpy. Um that's fair. I mean, did I have coffee yet, X-Ray? No, and that's why you were a little grumpy. Not in like mm. a mean way. It was just like a, uh. Yeah. I'm grumble, here. grumble, grumble. <laughs> yeah, I'm, sorry if, I'm sorry if I came off as rude or anything. Oh my God, I, um... no. You have oh, okay. never come off as rude. I was just saying you're grumpy oh. from being tired. <laughs> um, it's a sleepy boy. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I think... Uh... I think normally, um, I, like I, I did, uh, I, I've only done a few conventions where I've stayed with someone, but having your a room to yourself is like, it, it's a total game changer. Um, because when you're staying with someone, if you, if they don't know like your um, priorities or they don't know how you wake up, it can be really, uh, that's true. Controversial, all right, so I guess. Who who was it that you're talking about? Is it me and Kara? That's all I care about. <laughs> no, it, it wasn't you guys actually. That was actually uh, a you know a great opportunity because when we got to hang out, uh, we all hit, had each other's own spaces, right? But it's tough when you don't have that. Like whether you're in the Marine Corps or you have to have like a ho uh, you have to share a hotel room with someone, like because if you don't understand how the other person works in the morning or at night, uh, it can be really difficult to, it's like having a sibling, you know, it's like yeah. in your space. Yeah. Right. Um, but thankfully with you guys, I, I was worried at first. Cause I was like, Oh, I, I hope, you know, I hope that we all um, kind of understand each other's little nuances. And turns out it was like, perfect. Um, Cause yeah, if we needed time alone or if we needed time to chill, we could go back into, you know, our own rooms or whatever. And I wouldn't nice. question it. It would just be like a, eh. We need to go take a nap. Okay, bye. bye. <laughs> yep. Yeah, a hundred percent. And um, yeah, those little moments are really, really nice. Um, because there's no pressure, you know. Yeah. Speaking of which, I'm so freaking excited for Vegas. Oh yeah, oh, my God. I'm that's so right. I'm so stoked for it. I'm so excited. I know. I just miss all of you so um, much. <laughs> okay, Spirian said that he did, he he was twelve, so he didn't have there were no cell phones. He didn't have that. He said the only reason I know Bigfoot encounter was real is because my dad was special forces in Vietnam. Whoa. I've never seen him scared of anything, and he was scared, and he went and checked it out because I ran away. Oh really? Mm. Wow. I've heard some grumblings about like Bigfoot esque type in the Vietnam uh, war from vet or like online from vets which is wild so uh weird weird how these little stories now i i'm like sometimes the brain is a one of the darnest things so you can oh yeah make up stuff 
but I, I, I just love hearing these stories because it just gives you the heebie-jeebies. It's kind of like ghost stories, but like more real, possibly. Mm. Sorry, I got a a a bit. Let's see, a hundred bitties from uh, Storm Hunter says a, a Mothman, a masked caped hero who goes around fighting crime dressed as a moth. His deadly weakness is bright lights, to which he is unfortunately compulsively drawn to. <laughs> that or fire. <laughs> the poor. Bugs. Or fire. Yes. Oh my God. Good morning, Magnus. The the poor bugs that like <laughs> get introduced to my zapper. On my balcony. Poor bugs. What are you talking about? Uh, a good bug worse. is a dead bug. That's right. You're, you're right. I'm sorry. Thank you. Yeah. Thank you. That's that's what I thought. I hate bugs. Yeah. We get yeah. bad mosquitoes here. Um, I don't know. Well, I know Florida did have or does have mosquitoes. I don't know. About I where y'all never are. encountered a single mosquito when I was. What? Yeah. Haven't encountered well, We have them mosquito. here in North Carolina. Pretty bad rough. Places, though. God, that sucks. It really sucks. Oh god, I hate them. Let's see if I have a better paint for this brown. Oh wow, a lot of the uh, a lot of the chat are saying that they're up pretty early as well, like four oh, a.m., five a.m. Yeah. Guys in oh. chat, what? I'm assuming there's. I don't see any females. Uh, what time do y'all wake up? Out of curiosity. Like my sleep. I uh. You guys experienced that. I like my sleep. Yes, she does. I try um, to be as quiet as possible. You're also a light sleeper, though. That's the worst part. I am a light sleeper, and it's I hate that. Um, but I've been doing better about waking up earlier. Like today, like I was awake two hours before the stream. Oh, no, nice. So, like I woke up at eight a.m. my time. Wow. Really? So. And like the like, there's a a day earlier this week that I random like I didn't go to bed until midnight, but I randomly woke up at five in the morning and was wide awake. God, all day. I've and I felt the before. best rest that I had in days. Wow. Body just is mm -hmm. like we don't need it anymore. You're fine. Yeah, Agnes says Happy Palm Sunday. Yes, Happy Palm Sunday. What does Happy Sunday? Do? What does one do on a Palm Sunday? Out of curiosity, mm -hmm. go to church. Oh, okay. So this, oh, uh, it's almost, I, it's almost I'm gonna be, I get to go and harass Gary in person in two weeks. I'm so jealous. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah. I'll be in San Antonio. Huh? Go ahead. No, I said I'll be in San Antonio and Gary's lovely wife, Melissa, is going to cut and color my hair while I'm there. Nice. Ooh, oh. Very nice. Ooh. Yes, because I have a wedding to go to while I'm there. That's the whole reason I'm going to San Antonio is because I have to go to my uh, my sister in law's wedding. You get to meet the whole crew. Ah, oh, so <laughs> jelly. I love that fam. They're so, they're they're good peeps. They're good peeps. But it's been it's been nice. I'm so excited to see everybody. And then my birthday's this week. And then next what? this time next week I'll be in. We'll be. No, the week after I'll be in San Antonio. What mm -hmm. uh, what day is your birthday? It's on Tuesday. We're gonna celebrate oh, in Vegas. I was gonna say, yeah, we need to do something to celebrate. Yeah. Well, well happy early a ton birthday. Of birthdays in March. It's insane. Oh my gosh, I know. Yeah. Because you had Mark's birthday, wasn't it? Uh, Mark, Jeremy, Melissa's, yours, other Jeremy. Um, yep, my Jeremy. Mm -hmm. and yeah, there's a lot of birthdays. In Adam there. Krigler. Uh, there's more. I'm sure. I just I'm gonna pull up my calendar because otherwise I won't know. Um, my father's birthday. Brandon's birthday. Yep. Uh, Uche, may he rest in peace. His birthday is yeah. past as well. So, yeah, tons of birthdays. Wow. Well. Mm -hmm. Krista's birthday is this month, too. Krista? Did I not have that in my phone? Krista's birthday is the 25th, isn't it? The 25th? Um, is it not? Yeah, I think hers is tomorrow. Yeah, hers is tomorrow. Oh, I don't oh, have wow. her on my phone. That's so weird. Okay. Are you guys I only know anything? that because chat told, well, because uh, chat was saying happy early birthday to Krista. So I asked her what day it was because, and I was like, oh. 
the day before mine. Yes. Mm -hmm. Oh, and Daphne and chat's birthday is on Tuesday. Nice. That's exciting. Daphne, I better see you in my stream. If not, happy early birthday. <laughs> I just want to make sure I make I say awesome. that. It is uh, a lot of parents getting down with it in the summertime. <laughs> I was just about to say, season. so yeah. <laughs> <laughs> That's where our brain like, goes. So <laughs> <laughs> Like what? What is it about March? Why? Why? What? What holiday? What's going on in summer? No, oh, it's nine months before March is June, so it's wedding season. That, that's wedding true. season. That's true oh. too. That's mm -hmm. true as well. Damn. I'm a New Year's baby, so I was born in in a in a September. Mm. I was born mm -hmm. in July, so I'm thinking I was like a. Christmas baby, like a holiday. <laughs> ah, happy holiday time. <laughs> Coming home for the holidays. I mean, what? Uh, oh. The best gift you could ever have. I'm just saying. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> but uh, I think, at least I think that's what what probably happened. But Now, actually, your birthday is coming up, isn't it? Yes, uh, April 16th, so. Ooh, okay. Yeah, we'll be so just we after yeah. Vegas. Yeah, we'll be escaping Vegas, then I'll be at home probably recuperating because I'll likely get sick knowing every meetup I go to. I, I know. <laughs> Start loading up on that vitamin C now. I know. Can vitamin we... C and elderberry. Uh, yeah, can elderberry. we celebrate you in Vegas, though? Oh, of course. Since we won't be with you the next week. And I'll be a cheap drunk, too. So, um, you know, I haven't <laughs> had a drink. You're going to be at the F&T meetup either night or the film threat meetup. Oh, I'll be all you three. Know. Buy her a three. drink. Get her a birthday drink. Oh, my God. <laughs> yeah, buy her a I birthday drink. I need to drink. survive <laughs> the whole week, too. And it looks oh like we Lord. have a very, very busy... Well, I have a very busy schedule, and I mean, everyone does, realistically speaking. Yeah, yeah. it's going to be nuts. Um, so, Jason Webster for the five Australians says, Hi, X ray Kara and Steph. I'm going to add Max to that as well. Uh -huh. I hope you lovely ladies have enjoyed a beautiful weekend, which I have. I don't know about you, ladies. I have. Oh, great I weekend. spent most of my morning yesterday playing Dragon's Dogma. Oh, are you streaming Ooh. it or just? So no, I haven't been streaming it. I've been curled up on my couch in my blanket playing it. Oh, uh, that's nice. I have frustrations with certain things about quests, but that that's really it so far. Yeah, I was watching you. I, I had your stream up for a little bit yesterday. Was I trying to find Leonard? I don't know. I don't remember what you were doing because I'm trying not to pay like too much attention. Oh, okay. I understand. Spoilers, but I ha I had you up because I wanted to give you the number. Thank you. So you were lurking. I do that a lot too. <laughs> yeah, I lurk in a majority of the streams that go on in our community. Yeah, but uh, my only qualm with it so far is um certain people that you have to talk to. They don't have their names above their heads, which I mean it's kind of realistic. But then you're like where do I go? Who do I talk to? And it's just a generalized area. I'm like, can we get a better idea of what they look like at the very least? So I know who to talk to. For the Leonard one, didn't they say that he was going to be in the tavern to get a drink? I don't remember. Do I read? Yeah. Probably not. <laughs> uh, I actually ended up finding him in, I think, was it Leonard? It might've been someone else, but in uh, Melv. It was one of yeah. the quests in Melv. Okay, he was not in the... Was he in the tavern? I don't remember. But yes, uh, clearly I didn't read. If that's the case, then. <laughs> what would you guys say is uh, one of your favorite parts of Dragon Dragon's Dogma? Is that what it's called? I, I like the fighting the graphics. mechanics. Yeah, um, the fighting mechanics oh. are good. You're doing... What kind of character did you make? I made originally a ranger, but then I decided to do um, a fighter because Ooh. I wanted to be in control of the fighting. And then my uh, pawn is a mage, and they, it, 
the, one of the spells instills your weapon with like fire or with uh, mm -hmm. ice. The fire boon, the ice boon, yes. that kind of stuff. And I, yeah. I'm digging that because he also does the healing as well. So um, mm -hmm. I like that build because I, 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 I realized that I ended up wanting to be more tanky than, um, you know, uh, what's the other version? Squishy. 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 I don't want to be squishy. No squishy. Speedy and squishy. Speedy and not squishy. Did you guys watch the new Ghostbusters movie? I did. Did you? I did not. I did. Did you like it? Did you, Max? Uh, I did not. Uh, I will not. Like X Men '97, Ghostbusters, Beetlejuice, Joker two, like all these films that are just franchise, like um, mm -hmm. pit, franchise farming. Uh, farming. Uh, I I'm not gonna take part in that. I'm not gonna watch any of it. So it's essentially regurgitation. I'm trying to make it a thing. Yeah. Um, it's not as good as the original form. But no, what did uh, like what did y'all think of uh, Ghost the new Ghostbusters? Mm. I didn't like it. Uh, oh, really? I didn't hate it, but I didn't uh, think it was okay either. <laughs> so it was better yeah, than so anticipated. Not even okay. I didn't watch Afterlife. Well, see, I didn't really care for Afterlife like a lot of people did. See, yeah. I actually really enjoyed Afterlife. Really? Yeah, I, I was just like, okay, it was it was fine. You know, it was fine. Like, that's what I thought. I I can't stand phoebe i can't stand a little girl oh yeah mm. she's annoying af uh because you know in, in the first episode she's so movie, selfish. I, I, I just i can't stand her she's so selfish i like um, her as an actress she's she's a really talented actress yes uh, the actress her, she is really good but the character that she is playing mm, is incredibly annoying yep she um, she's basically an sjw or feels yeah, like 100 percent she's just um, you just don't like her because she's gay uh, no, I don't like her because she's you had, awkward. You wanted, like this gay relationship with this with this ghost. Like what? Yeah, scissoring time. <laughs> Scissor me timbers. Ghost. In spirit oh. form. Um, yeah, yeah. I, I don't. I don't like that character. I feel like if you can't stand Cassie Lang in Ant Man: Quantumania, then there is no reason why you should like this little girl. Ooh, Everything that yeah. happened. Oh, I didn't watch Quantumania either. So. Yeah, like everything that happens in this movie is her fault because she, she is so incredibly selfish. And mm. what bothered me is that at the end of the movie, she gets like praised. And I'm thinking to myself, why are they praising her? They should be angry with her. Everything that happened is her she, fault. Yeah. But the only thing that does not, the only thing that is not her fault is um, like the, the orb, like the way the orb gets uh, into like Ray's hands and then into like the scientist's hands for it to be open, like, or not to be open, but the, where, wherever it, it goes to, you know? Mm -hmm. Um, but yeah, I that's agree. The only thing that's not her fault. She, she, everything I, I, else is her fault. I think that the better character to have like highlighted in this would have been the Brown dude, even though I didn't like him either, but I think his character could have been bit much, much done much better. Unfortunately, Camille? absolutely. Yeah, because he annoyed his, the it was crap actually... out of me. It was like there at the very end. You know, they're facing the big, the big bad clawy ghost, um, and he comes sliding down the pole, mm -hmm. and everybody's meant to laugh at it. And I'm just sitting there, like, really? Like the ghost isn't going to kill him? Like he's just going? The spirit, this evil spirit, this evil demonic person is just watching him slide down the pole too. Um, and the way he's coming down is like meant to be funny, and I'm like, this isn't funny. Yeah, the like, the, the comedic frozen. timing is horrible because not everything yeah. has to be funny, and all and all the guys were like a, a joke essentially. I felt like mm -hmm. they they always make um, the men the jokes, which I don't understand why that has to be a thing. No. <laughs> yeah, I think you're absolutely right. The brown guy, uh, the the fire god or whatever he is meant to be. Um, have been a his point. character would have been so much cooler if they had taken it seriously, but they didn't. Mm -hmm. um, and then also uh, the the character that I actually liked, which is funny because I didn't like his character in Ghostbusters Afterlife, is Paul Rudd's character. Oh, you he know, was he the, actually well, had like, that's like a dad story. Yeah, 
like yeah that was that's the story that i actually like you know he's trying to integrate himself into the family he's not trying to push the kids to call him dad and then at the very end they end up doing it on their own and he gets excited about it like that's and he also that's has sweet. you know conflict with phoebe when he try when he actually steps into the dad role and you know she ends up kind of respecting him and calling him dad at the very end of the movie so like that that's the character that i actually liked and i didn't like his character in the first movie <laughs> i loved his character in the first movie I didn't like it. It's controversy here. I what? I felt like, yeah, I felt oh, like dare us not like, have the out. same opinion. I know. <laughs> I thought this was an echo chamber. <laughs> False advertising. I uh, I pretty much like Paul Rudd in almost anything he does. Um, yeah. Even him in like Perks of Being a Wallflower. He's just like, Yes, Damn. I know. He has such a small little role, but it's so so good um yeah. i like him in a did you, so you guys know that he right he's he what? what he's in friends oh he's my god yeah, he's, he's in the friends he's Phoebe's he's husband huh yeah he's Phoebe's husband mike yeah. mike yes mike. i love him I love character, yeah I uh, I prefer to watch the superior show Seinfeld, but uh, oh, I mean, that's all right. Yeah, <laughs> the drama star show about nothing. Yes, yeah, it's more. It's got more than Friends. I'll tell you that. <laughs> oh my goodness, <laughs> causing trouble, aren't we? That's funny. I'm actually rewatching Friends right now, which is funny that you brought it up. I love oh, nice. Friends. Like yeah. I, it is it, a a day barely goes by that my husband does not quote friends. Ah. Um, same. I my love husband, friends. Like for any situation, he has a quote for friends. I love that. Mm -hmm. He's watched it every, like he's watched every single episode. We own every single season. I do too. Yeah. <laughs> you know what's funny is that like I'm rewatching it on on streaming, and I I can't stand it because like in the box sets you get the actual like run through whereas on streaming it's how it aired on tv so there's like stuff yeah. missing and yeah, i can't, we have I the can't box sets. stand it yeah oh did they I can, I can just like quote it all the time like while it's playing i can just recite their lines word for word wow oh like, yeah i i yell yeah. in the office I that with snip the office. at him because he'll uh he'll start saying something or a a scene will be coming up and he'll say the 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 punchline like five minutes before the end of this <laughs> like f before it shows up i'm like oh my gosh all right cameron you stop spamming or you're gonna be you're gonna be uh -oh. kicked uh-oh uh oh, uh -oh. Um, she's laying I'm down the law. I'm, I'm sorry uh -oh. that i did not immediately acknowledge you if you don't um, stop, you're gonna get kicked. That, that you know, that's one rule. Any streaming, don't matter. Don't spam, guys. It's only fair. Don't spam. If you spam again, you're gone. Sorry, dude. She means it too. But she's scary. But she's scary. Scary. Um, no. I'm sleepy and <laughs> I'm just not in the mood for spamming today. Please. Hey, yeah, no, it's only fair. Especially when it's like, hey, there's really only one rule here. Yeah. My, um, my one rule is be nice. Don't be a dick. <laughs> uh, uh, I was going to say, uh, what were you talking about? Um, uh, oh, Lewis in chat says Seinfeld is for faux intellectuals and pundits. Whoa! Yeah, what do you say to that? Wow! <laughs> you're getting called out there, sir. What do you say to that, Max? What do you say to I that? I would say that Friends is for uh, people who. <laughs> Uh-oh, uh-oh. Uh chicky nuggies uh -oh. and, and <laughs> <laughs> don't have an IQ that's past two digits. No, I'm kidding. Wow! Um, that was cold. Yeah, I love it. Max, you know you don't have to come to Vegas. You can stay home. <laughs> <laughs> now we know how he really feels about us. <laughs> I'm kidding. I mean, considering that those two things are not me, I'm not a faux, what did he say? Faux intellectual, and I've never had oh, pot yeah. before. I've never tried pot. <laughs> so uh, um, on both occasions, he's wrong. But um, I just like Seinfeld because it's funny. And I I play into the Friends versus Seinfeld thing, even though I've never watched an episode of Friends, right? So I can't actually say that I've I like it or dislike it. 
I just like playing into the controversy. That's funny. I've actually never watched Seinfeld. <laughs> I've never Excuse watched me. Seinfeld either. Me neither. There you yeah. go. Yeah. And I think most Friends watchers tend to stick with Friends. And same thing with Seinfeld mm-hmm. watchers. They tend to stick with Seinfeld. So. Interesting. Dom, Dom. That's okay. Dom, thank you so much. Dom, get I know, five right? subs over on Kick. Thank you, <gasps> Dom. Oh, oh nice. That's cool. Uh, mm-hmm. Jason Webster with the five Australians says, I cannot, Mr. H says, I cannot recommend this film, Ghostbusters Frozen Empire at all. It was all over the place. I thought it was dog crap. Who's Mr. H? Mr. H Mr. reviews. Yeah. Oh, I don't watch it then. I'm yeah. sorry. <laughs> yeah, I, there were there were way too many characters, honestly. Oh, in this yes. Movie. It, 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 felt, it felt really bloated, just like mm-hmm. uh, Jurassic Park Dominion. There's way too many characters. They could have this gotten rid of at least uh, three of the storylines, or, or not storylines, characters. Yeah. Um, and yes, another thing is it's mm-hmm. too many storylines. Like, I, I, I just want one. You know, why couldn't we just stick with the family and then maybe the flame guy could have a story yeah, and then leave it. it at that. Nothing else. Mm-hmm. I, I, there, there was too many of new people. There's too many uh, of the same from the last one. And then the, the old people, like it just, it was too much. Too many mm-hmm. um, nostalgia bait moments too. It, may, it takes it yeah. away from like the original characters by having some of the nostalgia bait that they had. Even, I, I couldn't um, stand how they got ready, right? They're they're it's they're doing their last stand in the firehouse. And as if, as if, right, the, the way he showed up was so dumb, as if the, the demon presence was going to knock on the door, and then they open the door and <laughs> it's bank phone. Uh, I'm just yeah. like, oh my god, really? <laughs> I, I was like I was like I was like telling myself too when I was watching them, I was like, it's gonna be Bankman. It's Bankman. Like why would they open the door? Like they answered the door, really? You think he's gonna knock? Yeah, it's a know, nice it's ghost. Like... <laughs> 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 that's ex- that's the first thing you think of when you think of ghosts. Yeah, they're polite. I mean, Casper. Well, that's one out of how many. <laughs> <laughs> good morning, Boogie, and good morning. Uh, I'm sorry. Uh, I'm trying to look past mm-hmm. the the. What is it Victor saying? Favorite crocheted peek ball. Thank you. I love that one. That was so fun to make. Not the uh, crocheted. Done with the Yaira doll that I've been working on. Oh, nice. I can't wait to see oh, it all cool. fully done. You made the pattern yourself, right? For the most part, I've kind of Frankensteined a couple different doll patterns that I found. Um, at least for like the body parts. Um, the only thing I have left is the torso. I've gotten everything else done. Nice. So uh, what doll? She's making for Yaira. Uh oh, Yaira. Okay. Crochet Yaira doll. Mm. Which is pretty freaking cool. That's neat. Yeah, I thought you were talking about your uh crocheted um Peanut? Willy. Oh, the pee pee. Uh, yeah. No. <laughs> Not this time. I want a pee pee. Oh, oh. Okay. <laughs> we will I be want a crocheted in... PP. I mean... <laughs> <laughs> I want a crochet. I, I want think... an authentic era. Can we... Can, I, we should get a crochet uh, little set together and we can make a, a pattern for the PP. <laughs> oh. <laughs> yes. And then we can, we can share it or... We can call it Max's Envy Penis. Yeah. Is that your we mascot, Max? We should all do a stream in the morning just crocheting a little um, a PP. Um, a little MV penis. Uh, I'll, <laughs> I'm going to call it uh, Dick in the Hand. I don't know. <laughs> <laughs> stream. I, I'm making a Dick in the Hand stream. I don't know. <laughs> oh, my, my I just try to be clickbaity, clearly. <laughs> <laughs> you, you, you have to. You got to. Uh, grab him with that initial title. Wow! Grab him by the balls. What? And I don't know what you're talking about. <laughs> <laughs> oh, God. But, no, uh, yeah, that little... I mean, if, tr- if it was Trump, he'd be grabbing him by the... By the, the pussy. The mm. Mm-hmm. Yeah, pussy. The pussy. The pussy. The pussy. The pussy. <laughs> the pussy. Yeah, it's French. Oh, it's a French God. word. Yes. Wee oui, wee. Oui. <laughs> <laughs> 
Uh, oh my god, we're children in L. I make myself laugh by stupid jokes. Uh, I have a super chat from our good friend Josh, one of our favorite otters. Hi, Josh. Uh, not Hi. the favorite otter, because we all know that I take that role, but uh, one of our other favorite otters, Josh. <laughs> he says, um, for $5, thanks, dude. He says, can we agree that we think Max would turn into a middle school girl and giggle at everything if he had pot? Laughing yeah. emojis. <laughs> oh. Um, you know, it's, it's legal in Vegas. I'm just saying. Well, Mark knows. Yeah. <laughs> oh, but Mark is all over that. Oh. You know, I, I, for me, I feel like I would get tired. I don't know. Well, I feel it depends, like yeah. it it depends on the strain too. So, um, yeah. and how you eat or inhale it or whatever. Yeah. Really? Yeah. Have you ever um, thought about? Yeah, I personally, and I personally prefer edibles over smoking. I think uh, smoking is the worst way to take it in, but um, if you mm -hmm. eat too many edibles, it's actually like a freaky experience because I've done that once yep. because someone left cookies out and I thought they were cookies and mm. I might have eaten a lot of them and I couldn't move. That was oh, actually, oh, no. like, I, they, they basically tucked me in bed and they were like, why did you, I don't know, I'm hungry. I'm like, they taste weird, <laughs> but I was like, it's fine, <laughs> whatever, I'm going to eat it. And they're like, uh oh. You were oh, only gosh. supposed to oh, have no. like a half, uh, a quarter, sorry, of one, and I might have had two. Mm. Oh, full God. cookies? Mm -hmm. Oh, no. I had two full cookies. And so, yeah, the next day I was still uh, inebriated, I guess. Hi. <laughs> wow. <Well, I'm laughs> uh, still yeah. toasted. <laughs> yeah, it wasn't good. It wasn't good. Good thing I had the day off, though. So um, I just slept it off. Thank God. But. Yeah. yeah, I've only had one really bad high before, and so after that, like, I, uh, I kind of stopped for quite a while, but the, I mean, ever since I met my husband, I haven't, like, sm well, I guess I've smoked once or twice, but I like, I prefer the edibles, because mm -hmm. he doesn't like any of it, he's, he's not a fan of it at all, he's never, he's never smoked, or he's never done anything marijuana related, yeah, I don't, um, I think that's kind of where I sit. I don't necessarily, um, you know, I, I don't judge others who do it. Uh, actually, most of my friends do it, um, depending on like what circle we're in or whatnot. Uh, I have a lot of friends who use it medicinally. I have friends that use it recreationally. Uh, you know, especially here in California, it's pretty common. Um, I don't know, just for me, though, I just, I personally, it never really interested me. Um, and I'm a guy who, you know, smoked cigarettes in the, you know, in the military and well, every time I have a beer, you know, I might have a cigarette or something. So it's not that I don't like smoking or I think that it's like, oh, it's so, it's terrible, blah, blah. It's like, I just, it's just not for me. Uh, I don't know. You're like, but, you're already uh, happy being sober. So yeah. I forgot that you were, I forgot that you smoked cigarettes. Yeah. I don't. And plus when I get, because <laughs> <laughs> well, I have weird. Like, I sniff as. I, I sniff his the... cigarettes all the time. <laughs> you do, and it's hilarious. Yeah, it's always funny. I'm like, do you want oh one? You're like, no, no, no. Just give me, just give me the, the just give me the box. Yeah. I just want to sniff. Them. Just sniff it. I just want to smell it. Yeah, yeah tobacco <laughs> smells really good. Did you, to, did you use to smoke extra? Pardon? So I just, I just got a super chat from Kara's whip cracked minion. Oh, for uh, ten pounds. Says nice. I made six spelling mistakes this week. Punished accordingly. <laughs> mm. <laughs> six lashes. I'm hearing. Never mind. I'm kidding. Uh, uh, Steph, what were, you, what were you asking again? Sorry. Oh, I said, were, were you a smoker? Is that no, why you smell it? No, uh, never a Are smoker. Like, I didn't no. really like. Uh, I hated the smell of the smoke. In in fact, so I just weirdly oh. enough like the smell of tobacco. That's it. No other reason. Uh. Where's where's Kara's boobs at? They're they're normally in the chat watching us. Kara, well, I know did they're you always tweet, here with Did us, you tweet but... a tweet of you or boobs today? I did not tweet anything about oh. my boobs today. Aww. That's a bummer. I didn't even tweet that I was live. No. <laughs> I've been very I I've just been kind of meh. <laughs> I think um That's the okay. next opportunity I'm going to get uh where I show boobies, I'll be like 
we're, we're spreading democracy, according to Gary. Thank you, Gary. Yep. <laughs> Amen. <laughs> Amen. Amen. Dom, wants, Dom wants to know if I'm going to Vegas. I am going to Vegas. I will Ooh. be there. I'm excited. Yeah. I'm excited for it. Oh, my gosh. I just miss I'm excited. everyone so much. Hey, thank you for the follow. I think... Um, Are my allergies getting to you? Yeah, I just I just took my allergy medicine, so... Mm. I just took my allergy medicine. Josh also has a uh, question for the panel. He says, have any of you read the novel A Little Life? I had it recommended to me, then was told it's incredibly sad and depressing, but I've already bought it, so... Oh. Crying incoming? No, I have not read that. No. I don't like sad things. I like no. a good sad cry when I'm reading books, so... Yeah, me yeah, too. Well, uh, Do you sometimes guys I'll like I'll just need a good cry, and so I'll watch like a movie that I know will make me cry. What's your go-to? Which I one? I was about to say which <laughs> one. <laughs> um, there's there's a couple movies that make me cry. Uh, when Dobby dies in Harry Potter, so I'll put that on. No. Um, Wrong. Or like the Snape scene, so it's the same movie, so the Deathly Hallows Part Two. Um, uh, My Girl. <laughs> Do you, oh have you gosh, seen My no. Girl? No. I have. I know which one you're talking about. Yeah, that movie makes me cry every single time I watch it. So that's a that's my tearjerker movie. Okay. Mine's always Spirited Away. Mm. Mm. I love I that movie. That. It's so good. I love it. God, that soundtrack is unbelievable. So mine, good. Mine is Moonlight. When she takes the armor part. I'm just like, she's oh. such a good daughter saving her father. Uh, yeah i like a good uh no nope, i am a man and therefore i do not cry however <laughs> if, I, if, if you I, did uh, if i were to cry and this is the only acceptable occasion for a man to cry <laughs> it is at boromir's death scene in the fellowship ah. mm. i see i see yeah, v yeah. very very or... toxic i love it <laughs> <laughs> It is, to this day, gut-wrenching for me. Like, um, gut-wrenching. And then, you know, especially seeing Aragorn get emotional as well, um, to have both of these men just at, you know, the both these, these men, these brothers, who have, you know, similar bloodlines, um, both sacrificing, both heroes. It's just like, man, there's nothing better than, than this. They did it so well and respected it so well. It's just, wow, chef's kiss, if you will. Mm -hmm, chef's kiss. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. But, uh, but yeah, that's the only time men get it right. Maybe, maybe in Gladiator or Braveheart. Th those are those are exceptions. But, like I said, maybe. Um, uh, oh, you know what? Another like Insta cry. The first time I watched it. Uh, in Up, when they do the prologue. Oh my oh, god, I yeah. my eyes yeah. yeah. That was like, it was an emotional roller coaster. Like, uh -huh. I, I, yeah. What was it? That's like, what, seven minutes in total? Whew. Uh, yeah, they really know how to... Yeah, tearjerker. Yeah. Now, on the... Uh, in, uh... yeah. Oh, what was it? Okay, so Haunting of Bly... No, was it Haunting of Bly Manor? Bly Manor. That last episode. Oh, I yeah. cried my eyes out that entire last episode. Yep, yep, yep. Another another good one. Uh, Big Raj, thank you for the thumbs up super sticker for $1.99. Ooh. Cheers to you, sir. Uh, trying to think of other tearjerkers. Hi, gaming. How you doing? Uh, Lewis well, says Marley and me. <gasps> oh, oh, yeah. I, I, oh, my God. I refuse to watch that movie I again because it hurt. I cried so hard in Marley that and me. That hurt a lot. Oh. Um, and then Hachi. Have you guys seen Hachi? Yes. No. Oh, I cried. Hachi. The movie Hachi. Got Richard Gere in it. What's Richard it about? Gere, yeah. It's it's a story about this man and his dog and how uh, the dog would always meet the man at the train station, you know, because they were that that was his buddy and everything. But uh, I'll give away the end. Do you want me to give away the ending? Oh sure. So the man, 
the the guy the man commutes which is why he always takes the train and so the dog would always wait for him at the train station every day when he came back from his commute at the train station and while he was away one time he he died and so the dog continued to wait at the train station for his owner to come home he never did and they actually erected a statue of him this is real life, IRL. This yes, happened. Yeah, yeah. Happened. It's based on a true story. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. Because I remember hearing that story and I'm like, that's just, we don't deserve dogs sometimes, like in moments like this. So, God. Yeah, that's really sweet. Wow. Um, such a good, it's such a good honey, movie. Why are you watching my stream while you're at the gym? <laughs> Hi. <laughs> Hi, Jeremy. <laughs> you need, you need to get some gym motivation. Man. He says Cinderella man when he goes around to ask for money. I haven't seen um, that. Yet. Oh. Russell Crowe, right? Cinderella man? Yeah. I think I think so, yeah. I, I forget. <laughs> um now on the opposite end of that, because you know, this is a it's a good good question that, that Josh brings up about like books and tear jerkers and whatnot. Have do you have you guys indulged in the uh you know, Fabio fantasy uh, novels uh, yes. that are... <laughs> yes. <laughs> yeah. I love romantic novels when I was younger, so, uh, yeah. Okay. <laughs> I read Fifty Shades, and then if you if you do like that kind of stuff, but you want some, like, fantasy uh, thrown in, um, the Kate Daniels series... Uh, by Alona Andrews is actually really good. So, okay, so Fifty Shades is probably the only se novel series that, or novel of books that would, you know, be considered like in that genre, I suppose. And so like that's the only thing that I've watched or read is the Fifty Shades books. And I blame that all on my best friend because she made me read them. <laughs> uh, just like she made me read the Twilight books. So I was just like, okay, fine, mm. I'll read them. She got really into them, but... So that, whole, that type of what a good friend to do that. Not, <laughs> That's a lot of books <laughs> to read. I know, I know. It's not just one; it's like three of each series. It's a series of yeah, it's a series of novels. But like, uh, she got me. So she took me to go and see. She kept telling me to watch Twilight, and I'm like, I'm not gonna watch Twilight. Like, I I don't. I'm I'm not into it. I don't want to watch it. And then she was like, Hey. My boyfriend doesn't want me doesn't want to go with me to this to the new movie and I think it was New Moon. Um she goes, "Will you go with me?" I was like, oh, "Okay, fine." So, I watched Twilight and just so I could know what New Moon was about. And uh I was just like I was bored the entire movie. I was like, "What is this? I don't get it." <laughs> um Team and so drama. I went to watch New Moon with her. I know. And I think it was at the was it at, I think it was New Moon because I think at the end of New Moon is when Edward asks her to marry him. Yes. And it just cuts. Okay. So then because I am incredibly impatient, right? I wanted to know what happens next. And I was asking her what happens next. And she was just like, read the novel, read the book. <gasps> and I was like, are oh, you kidding evil. me? Because she knows that I'm so impatient. I just want to know, like, just tell me, right? Like I, I really enjoy spoilers. Like I want to know what happened. Oh, sorry. It was and Twilight. Like, he, she gets engaged. Novel. Uh, I believe, and then Which at one? the end of at the end of Twilight, she gets engaged, or at the beginning, and then end of New Moon. That's when she has the baby. Oh no, that's midway. No, no, that, I think it's New, New Moon, Moon is the engagement. New Moon. Part one, child, um, came in. That's I'm just getting it mixed up. It's been so long. Oh, but yeah, she's a yeah. So I was like, God damn it. So I borrowed her books and I read it. I was like, okay, so now I know what happened. You're a nicer <laughs> friend than me. I wouldn't do it <laughs> if I wasn't interested. <laughs> just frustrated. It's... I was like, you know what? I will read that. I got just, I, just, it was, I did it out of spite. I was just mad. I was like, I can't believe you're not going to tell me what this movie is about. <laughs> yeah, I think the uh, th the smut novel uh, trend of films came and went, uh, but they have not really That's ventured true. into the fantasy, like weird science comics in the chat talking about like the fantasy smut where it's like, you know, the, the, the rebel knight who, you know, finds the princess and like, you know, takes her away from the castle. And it's like, oh, okay, what are they going to do? And it gets like all detailed and stuff. Um, I do think it's funny. Uh, who was it? 
risk it for a biscuit says uh it was a tearjerker when dumb and dumber when the boobs turned in the headlights yes also <laughs> <very sad. laughs> yeah a hundred percent and then um weird science again says uh 50 shades of gray was a bit of a jerker a tear mm. jerker or just something, a jerker? Something, something jerker. Mm. <laughs> you know how June too had buckets? Oh my God. I started laughing so hard when I saw that story about the guy who went and watched, I don't know, it's that like Kristen Sydney Stewart movie. Sweetie movie. And he, what, no, it was the Kristen, wasn't it Kristen Stewart? And he like fell asleep with his junk out. No, that was a Sydney Sweeney That's movie. Sweeney. That's the, that was that recent. Was Sweeney movie. Yeah. Oh, okay. oh yeah. And he, they took a picture oh, of him. God, I was laughing just so passed hard. out. That's like hey, you, that guy had booze next to him. He had he was set like, up. He was like, in his pants. <laughs> I mean, I like, that, was that guy was living like, life. At least he was alone in the theater. <laughs> Imagine. Wait, what happened? <laughs> oh, let's. Oh, some wait, guy I was know, caught with his theater? with his junk <laughs> out in the yeah. theater. Yep, he yeah, passed. So he like, went to watch the Sydney Sweeney movie. Okay. And he passed out whenever he was um, uh, finished doing the deed. Taking care of business. Uh, okay. He was taking care of business. And uh, he uh, was found after the movie with his uh, his dick out and mm -hmm. passed out in, his, in the recliner chair. Was uh, he not? Um, yeah. Was he not arrested for public indecency? I don't know. He probably no. was. I don't know. I, I was going to say, I, I don't think, I don't think you can do that. <laughs> nope, nope. I laughed so hard. I was like, that was like that guy's self care night. Yeah. Like he's like, you know what? Self care. I'm going to get oh the best God. part for me. <laughs> yeah, he had, uh, a, you know, alcohol, some tissues, probably ready. Like he had a smorgasbord mm. next to him. I don't remember yeah. if he had food as well. <laughs> he did. Oh my he God. had food. He had little tiny, like little liquor bottles. Uh huh. He, he was yeah, ready everything. for it. Yeah. Um, wow. He came prepared, yeah, uh, but he didn't come. You're like. <laughs> you're like, is it uh, happy tissues or sad tissues? God, <laughs> happy tissues. For sure. Okay. <laughs> Hi, Gus. Man. Do you need to go outside, sir? He's being needy. Per usual for Sundays. Mm. Do you need to go outside? Look at me. Don't look at me with those big old brown eyes. Aww. All right. Let's go. Bishop asks, how is naked illegal? Um, Ask the <laughs> forefathers of your country? <laughs> I don't know. <laughs> Lewis says... Let's not forget the woman who brought toys to Fifty Shades. Shut up. Stop. Oh, my God. <laughs> Is that true? Uh, I've even never know. heard that. Know that story. Oh, my How God. How did people not hear the... <laughs> I don't know. <laughs> the the vibrator. <laughs> I don't know. Battery These up. These are just questions I've the never noise? thought of. <laughs> yeah, I don't want questions to. Questions I don't want to think about. No. I paid twenty dollars for a movie theater. I don't want to think that someone's been, you know, taking care of business. This is not a Skinamax. <laughs> yeah, seriously. God, those daters like creep me out because I think there was one in Toronto that was like that, and you, you can see the 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 types of people who frequent there. Sketchy, ah. sketchy, gross. So. Extra, you said that uh, you've been playing um, Hell Divers and Dragon's Dogma, yeah? Yeah, yeah, it's been fun. Um, I was gonna say, yeah. So Dragon's Dogma, you like the game mechanics of it, yeah? Yes, sir. How like how it fights, uh, or how how the fighting styles are. With Max is like, I'm switching the conversation to something different. <laughs> I mean, like, he's like, I need to find do you Jesus want right to now. Talk more about <laughs> he's like, it's Sunday. We can't be talking. You I mean, yeah, is, Jesus. It is Palm Sunday. So. Oh my God, stop it. <laughs> oh my God. Happy it is, Sunday. isn't it? Oh my God. I forgot about that. Easter's next Sunday. It it's so weird it that is. it's in March, usually uh, April, right? It's in April. Yeah, it's, it is very weird that it's in March. 31st. It's like 
the cusp of April. Yeah. Because it, it, does it depend on the moon calendar? Or I don't actually know. It's like, um, oh gosh, I think it's technically supposed to be like, is it supposed to be the first Sunday of April or? Mm -hmm. Oh, you mean the first Monday, maybe. Maybe. I don't remember. I don't know. I'm not religious, so. Could be wrong. You got me, honey. I, I'm I'm not a good Christian. <laughs> <laughs> That's okay. I just whenever uh whenever I see my church post its Sunday, you know, Easter service, um, that's kind of how I know. Oh, it's Easter. <laughs> Thank God for social media then. Uh, right. Ray Mine says was, it's uh... forty days after a certain moon. Oh, oh. okay, okay, okay. Gots it, gots it. Easter is based on the Jewish calendar, which is a lunar calendar. Hmm. Okay. Yeah, I only knew because we went to Walmart the other day and there was Easter candy everywhere. So Ooh, yeah. I love candy. <laughs> Do you guys like the little peeps? No. The no, marshmallow they're disgusting. peeps? No. no. Uh, I'm all about the, um, the Easter eggs. The Cadbury Easter eggs are so Ooh, good. Oh, well, those are Jeremy's favorite. He loves the Cadbury cream eggs. Mm. Oh, no, 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 no. The well, the Cadbury cream eggs are good, too. But I like the uh, the crispy outside and the just the chocolate inside. The minis. Ooh. They're the minis. That's what they're called. I don't like any of that. Mm. And I love buying right. it uh, the day after because, I mean... Sales. sales because because your agent yeah. comes out yeah hey it's <laughs> I do, literally i do the same price. thing with valentine's day candy i do that price. with valentine's day candy like why not i think it's silly to buy things full price if at least if you buy it like one or two days before might as well just wait I've, i that's how i shop for clothes like since i was in high school that's how i shop for clothes i would buy like my summer clothes in the winter time my winter winter clothes in the summertime because it's all on clearance. Like I, it's very yeah. rare that I will find something full price. That's but smart. That's being the way to do it. Honestly. It really is. And I don't buy trendy clothes anymore, so it makes no sense to buy things when it's yeah, like it, it, style. Everything just goes out of style so quickly. It's like I don't want to keep up with all that. Ooh, I'm excited to show you guys the dress that I bought for Vegas. Ooh. Which night are you gonna yeah. wear it? Because there's three nights in total. Well, I have two of the same dresses in different colors. Is it from Halera uh -oh. or Halera? Yes. Okay. I have a Ooh. feeling I know exactly which one. Is it the, the one with the shorts? No, actually. Oh, okay. Okay, then I don't know. So you do not know what this one is. I do not know. I'm excited. I love this dress. Yeah, Sorry, we have I'm to find outfits around. for so many of those days then. Oh, like, literally, gotta look good every day. I know, because, well, I mean, I'm gonna be at CinemaCon. Mm -hmm. I think, I've, I got, I still need to talk to my cousin to iron things out for, for Gary. Mm -hmm. But, because I'm, I'm taking Gary to CinemaCon. Um, but, I need to figure out the rest of the info for that. But yeah, I'm going to be gone for like, I'm going to be away from home for like two weeks almost. Because mm. I'm are going gonna for try... a... Oh, go ahead. Huh? I was going to say, are you going to try and bring like uh, streaming stuff to still yeah. be alive at all or no? Yeah. Yeah, I'll probably, I'll probably stream while I'm there. I'm going to be with family on Sunday. Um, so I'm flying Southwest, um, and my mm -hmm. cousin is actually going to be the pilot for my flight. No from, way. Oh, wow. From, That's cool. From San Antonio to Vegas. Hell yeah. That's cool. So, small world. I, well, I text him, um, to, I just text to ask, I was like, hey, do you ever fly, like, from, from Texas, like, do you ever because he's based out of Dallas. So I was like, do you ever fly from, like, Texas to Vegas? He's like, all the time. I was like, oh. I was like, oh, well, I'm going to be going. He's like, just tell me the flight number and I'll pick it up. I was like, oh, okay. That's cool. So, I didn't know that, yeah, that oh. they could do that. Yeah, so my cousin is going to be 
Um, I mean, you got that new camera. Sorry, what did you, what did you say, Jonathan? Uh, have you had the Dr. Pepper chocolate milk? I hear that's a thing. I mean, you got the new camera, Kara. Oh, what's that reminds me. I need to go grab that. Um, but no, I have not tried Dr. Pepper chocolate milk. That sounds gross. I'm um, not gonna lie. That yeah, sounds I don't know kind of scary. That. I'm gonna go grab my camera though. <laughs> it sounds scary. It does sound scary. Yeah. Like, I feel like it's an milk. assault of lots of flavors that I don't know if would be good together. Mm-hmm. You know what I saw the other day? I saw c- Coke, like like spicy Coke or something like I that. I saw an ad for it actually. I was I want to just try it just to try it. I don't think it'll I, be I good though. Want to try. It's so weird. It's like Coke spice or something like that. Like it was a spicy Coke. I was like, ooh. You Americans think weird. of some crazy stuff. Wonder if it'll be Canada. Why, why does Coke need to be spiky, spicy? No. Sugar All and right. spice. <laughs> the Spru like says a spicy Coke rampant degeneracy. <laughs> oh, good morning, Disbru. How are you doing? Hi, Disbru. Disbru, I want to play more Hell Divers with you. That rhymed. <laughs> Mm. Disper, so there's a guy on that. there's a guy on um there's a guy on tiktok and instagram and he's a, a brit in america i don't know if you guys have seen him like his his videos or his reels and tiktoks but he's like he's a brit in america and he's always talking about um and defending americans and their like point of views on different things um i wonder if how Disper would feel if he saw if he saw mm. that Interesting. Mm. He has to. Well, typically he makes fun of the Americans, so that would be a. That would be interesting. I think it depends on the topic. Maybe he'll agree. Maybe he'll disagree. Well, like there was one. There's one thing that he came out about. Like I guess I don't know. He he, and oh, and he also talks about stuff that like he discovers in America. But he's like Americans don't walk. They don't walk anywhere. He's like I was gonna Uber. Right. But if I took an Uber to where he needed to go, it would only take him the Uber, like the Uber drive would only be for like four or five minute drive. Whereas if he walked it, it would take him like an hour. And so he's, he decided to walk it. And he was just like, I can't believe that nobody in America walks. They drive everywhere. There's nobody walking anywhere in America. They drive everywhere. And I'm thinking, yeah, kind of do. You know, unless you're like in a big city where everything's like really tight and close together or you live somewhere like you don't really walk, you just drive everywhere. But he didn't want to. He didn't want to t- take an Uber. He wanted to walk. He wanted to walk it because the Uber would be super expensive for yeah. a four minute trip. And I, then he t- he started like defending Americans and how like they're not well traveled. And he was just like, "Look, I don't think you guys understand the scope of America. It is huge." Because I guess he's like he's trying to visit all of the states in in America. That's why he's here. He's trying to like do that and visit all the states. Mm-hmm. Or as many states as he can, and he's just like it's it's incredible. He goes, I go to one state, and it's completely different to the other state. Everything is a different atmosphere. He goes, so Americans do travel; they just travel inside of America. Like he, was, so he was just like talking about that. He's like, I don't think you understand the scope of how grand America is. It's so funny, but it's it's like the way he describes everything, and the way he defends Americans is hilarious. I'll have to watch Oops, it. Sorry. If that's the case, then yeah. I'm just curious what to see the the, the mm-hmm. takes. But uh, yeah, I have Dr Pepper flavored peeps. Ooh, yeah, I noticed those all are about, not great. No, thank you. Have you noticed all the peep merch this year? There's oh. a ton of peep merch. Like, I, I guess they figured that you know people don't eat peeps anymore; they don't really like it. So let's capitalize on how adorable our little bunnies are. So they've just come out with a lot of merch hmm. a ton of it more than i've ever seen before i don't like peeps so <laughs> i don't even <laughs> want to have the merch <laughs> i don't like peeps either but like the merch is super cute <laughs> uh psychotic so monkus thank you for the gifted sub and roberto got it cheers thank you psychotic nice thank you psychotic um, <clears throat> thank you for gifting a membership over here as well. Thank you. And the Dr. Pepper is cherry and cinnamon, so cherry and chocolate work. Eh, I don't know. I don't, I don't, mm-hmm. 
I'm not a big fan. Like I'm, I'm a Dr. Pepper fanatic. You guys know this. Um, mm -hmm. but I don't know. I just, I'm good. I like, I don't even like, like cheer wine or anything, but this is my camera guys. So I got the, I have a little mount on it right now. That way I can kind of set it up and like angle it if I want to. Um, but I love this camera. It's so cool. I haven't gotten to really use it yet though. Nice. I Ooh. am waiting for your stream to catch up here. Um, are you going to, is it your like vlogging camera? Yeah, it's little. It's a little camera. Ooh. Oh, is cool. it the one that X-Ray has? No, oh, she has it's a nicer a... version one. I think. Yeah, this oh. is the, the new version of it. I have the older version. But it's cool. Oh, that looks sick. That's super cool. I like it. Oh my gosh, I need a link. Yeah, so I And those are that perfect really for like cute. conventions and just yes. like walking around and stuff, so that'll be cool. And it comes with this little case and it's just it's absolutely perfect. I cannot cannot wait to like utilize this for Vegas and like I'll probably vlog mm -hmm. most of my trip like to San Antonio um and then from San Antonio to Vegas. So Nice. Love it. Yeah. I I really want to try doing more like long form video stuff. Mm -hmm. But I don't want as weird as this is for our community, I have zero interest in doing anything commentary related. What? No, I'm kidding. <laughs> absolutely just not my brand of content um mm -hmm. at least for like my channel i don't mind going on and giving my opinion uh to people but it's just not what i want to focus on i want to mm -hmm. do like travel stuff and like crafting stuff like this and that's what it makes me good, happy though. the different. commentary yeah. stuff makes me stressed mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. yeah I get that. Mm -hmm. It can be a lot too. Like just trying to keep up with everything, and it can be really demoralizing at times if you're, you know, keeping up with a brand that you like, or, you know, trying to, I don't know, justify uh, why someone would say something that's like, you know, you've seen it before, Kara. Like how hideous yeah. people can be. Um, you know, just because of what you believe or what you think or how you vote. Um, and so it can be, it can be really like tiresome if you continue to do that. Some people can distance themselves, but it's, mm -hmm. it's tough. So I, I, I completely understand. And I'm thankful that you know what you want, you know, because yeah. that way you can tailor your, uh, your channel to that. So. Yeah. It does get tiring at times. It's like, oh, how much that more is. can I talk about? Yeah. Disney. <laughs> and there, at, at some point, you have you also get tired of, like, being so disappointed in a lot of things that you like, you know? Yeah. It's just like, oh. Yeah. And, like, my, like, I, I realized this whenever it was, I, I talked to my husband about it a while ago, about how, like, he mm. would wake up and start his day by listening to, like, the tar the talk radio stuff right. and it starts it kind of just kicks off your day with negativity mm -hmm. and it's just whenever you're just constantly bombarded by like negative commentary or negative news or negative this like you're that's all you're gonna see is the negativity and so I try to make sure that I'm still like like I if if I'm going to take in that content, I take it in small doses. That way I'm not overwhelming myself with um all of that other like I'm not I'm I just I don't want I still want to see the beauty in all all the content that we have. Mm -hmm. And especially like with Pokemon and all of that kind of stuff. And Wicked Plumber, thank you for gifting five memberships over here. Thank you so wow, much. Wow, nice. Yeah, thank Psychotic you. Mongoose also, yes. Thank you so much for gifting and stuff. I appreciate that. Thank you, guys. You guys are awesome. But that's just, I, I try to keep that in mind because, like, I saw a difference in him. And, like, we talked about it whenever I was starting to notice 
like he just seemed a little bit more like irritable or a little bit more grumpy. I'm like, okay, well, let's try like taking a break for like a week mm -hmm. from that being the first thing you start your day with. And and I try to do it with myself as well. And it, I did actually see a difference. And distancing myself from like social media is good for that as well. And that's why I've really been enjoying crocheting is because it keeps both my hands busy. Like I'll mm -hmm. go hours without even thinking about my phone mm -hmm. because I'm just sitting there focusing on counting or I'll be crocheting and watching a show. Like, like yesterday we were watching Roadhouse. And I kept finding myself like doom scrolling. And mm -hmm. I was like, you know, I just, I was like, I, I need to, I, like, because I'm a, I'm a fidgety person. I don't doom scroll because I want to know what's going on. I, I do it because I just like, I, I'm one of those people that constantly has to be multitasking. Mm -hmm. In the same way, I can't sit still. And so that's why I like to crochet or I like doing like little painting things or just something that is, mindless enough to where I can do two things at the same time mm -hmm. but so that's just long story short I want to make the content that I would watch and the commentary comment that like for me is is not like don't get me wrong I love watching all of my friends and getting their opinions on everything but I I watch more vlogs in my downtime and all that kind of stuff, like more little crafty stuff. Yeah, that's so, that's great. Uh, Dis Bruce like says, <laughs> Dis Bruce said, it keeps both my hands busy. Is a strange comment for a crocheted penis. <laughs> I mean, hey, I, I mean it did. It took two hands to make it. it took two hands. <laughs> love it, love it. Yep. Uh, I mean, it was a sick boy. So, <laughs> uh, thank you, Wicked Plumber, for gifting the five memberships of the channel. Cheers, Wicked Plumber. Cheers. Cheers. And, uh, yeah, hail and, and cheers to Wicked Plumber and um, where's Psychotic on here. Uh, they both uh, gifted, or er, Wicked became a member and Psychotic gifted a membership. Uh, thank you guys so much for doing that. <laughs> you know, for supporting all four of us, um, it's, yeah. you know, to, for you guys to do that really means a lot. Uh, you know, just, just because it's like, uh, you, you, you continually show your support every weekend and we love to see you guys all the time. And it, it makes us realize that what we're doing is, is something that you guys like and something that y'all enjoy on these Sunday mornings. So, uh, we really appreciate you guys supporting us and thank you guys so much. Um, but yeah. I completely uh, forgot Lewis had a uh, a suggestion for a stream if we all decide oh? to crochet a PP in the morning. Uh, he said stitch and dicks. Ah, <laughs> yeah, that's actually perfect. That's oh I know, gosh. stitch and dicks. I like it. It sounds a little scary, though. Poor, poor <laughs> Max would be like, like no, I'm not partaking in this. yeah i'll let you guys do i'll let you guys do your thing and uh, chat will be like max be... why are you why are you doing your own stream it's like well uh, i'm just doing my own thing this morning <laughs> oh, God. silly max yeah he doesn't want to hang out with us we're too vulgar no i mean i'm not we're all we're all we all have uh, funny inside jokes and vulgar, you know, little things. But uh, I, I think I'm good. It's not stitching any dicks. <laughs> He's like, it's a step too far. <laughs> Plus, I probably wouldn't be that good at it. I'm good at painting models, but I don't know about crocheting. I don't think I'd be very good. <laughs> you never know until you try. <laughs> oh, my goodness. The poor guy. <laughs> <laughs> Democracy. Yes, I cannot wait to play Helldivers today. Oh my god. Me freaking too. Hashtag me too. Cannot freaking wait to play Helldivers. Um, so an you, hour and a half. <laughs> tell, me, tell me more about the Helldivers craze because I see a lot of people on Twitter um, and just like online in general on YouTube 
And this whole thing, this idea of like bringing democracy to the world. And like, I think that's so funny. What, what is the lore? So you are a soldier. Is it like um, Starship Troopers? Is it yes. like Warhammer? It's kind of like both of these combined? It's very because... Starship Starship Troopers to where it's a lot of like over the top satire. Okay. Cuz I I like the idea. I think it's hilarious that it's like you know, democracy. We are colonizing this planet from alien hordes and <laughs> it's like it's so over the top and fun. It just yeah. seems like a blast. Um but the game like, and it's just a, you know, know. a good shooter game mm -hmm. like and yeah. just chaotic but but in a good way yeah mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. i saw a tweet Please. that they banned sex in the game interesting because you didn't c complete missions or something like that what was that about i have no idea i've never heard that no yeah i read that. i have I no so idea funny. Oh, I, I saw that, anything about that. I saw that same tweet stuff, um, but I, yeah. like I said, I have no context. So. Yeah, let me see if I can find it. Yeah, I had no context. I was like, that's weird. Maybe just, someone in okay. chat knows. Chat, tell me. <laughs> I'm speaking of um, speaking of Twitter, and I know you guys were talking about it like just a little bit ago. Um, I agree with okay. what you were saying, Kara, because. When I start my day, like if I wake up and I grab my phone and I immediately start looking at Twitter, I've I've found that my whole day seems to be a little bit gloomier um, because of, like you said, doom scrolling. And like the first yeah. thing you see is like, you know, this this you know uh, this type of like violent attack or this type of um, you know publicity and hatred and you know this thing or like whatever it is. And I've noticed that when I don't look at Twitter, like most of the day, uh, though I don't feel like I'm in the loop, I feel so much freer and just like my my whole mindset is completely different when I'm not on Twitter or Instagram. Um, and I have noticed a like visible difference. So I think it's good to get off that stuff every now and then. Yeah. I miss being it's, on it's vacation healthy. in the mountains. <laughs> For that yeah. reason. I mean, I mean, it's like any vice, like moderation matters. Absolutely. Yeah. Okay, so but, I found the tweet. It says, sex is now banned in Helldivers 2 because players failed their last major order. And it says major order failed. Uh, though, many, though many termines have been mercifully culled, the Helldivers were unable to penetrate as far as inside quarantine zone is ordered. The expansion of our citizens to new planets... Uh, will be reduced in line with the reduction of expected element 710 to be produced. Further procreation applications will be denied until further notice. Oh my mm. gosh. And is it from the official account or like who, who posted that? Yeah. Oh, oh okay. <laughs> it was like two days ago. I, I saw that and started laughing. I was like, what the heck is hell? I don't understand what's going on with this game. <laughs> <laughs> no reproducing for you. Well, no reproducing for you. No I mean, procreation. In Starship Troopers, yeah. you're not allowed to have babies unless. Is it? It's like sanctioned by the state or something. Yeah. Yeah. So, I mean, it, it makes sense at the very least in that world. Yeah. You fail, so you don't get babies. <laughs> <laughs> oh, Jeremy says we can 3D print a penis monster for Max to paint. Oh, Ooh. Jeremy! Great thinking. Oh, Thank yeah. you. That's everything he's always <laughs> wanted. I can't wait for you to send that, and then you bring it to the post office, and then you're like, "I need a a package for this package <laughs> to be delivered <laughs> safety." <laughs> exactly. Yes. Pikachu looks awesome. Well done. Thank you. He does yeah. look good. That yellow is striking. I love it. I love it. I love it. I love it. I just got to redo the brown on the back and then I yeah. should be done. Oh, looks so cute. And uh, X ray, that's mouth. Zoro. That Zoro is really coming together. Yeah. It really is. 
It's only a couple I feel like I'm... things left, oh, like little lines. Just a couple little lines left. That's it. Yeah. I feel like I missed um, a good portion of you painting that last weekend uh, when I missed oh, last yeah, weekend. Yeah. So. Well, I did the, 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 the big chunks of like I had two pots for one color and almost finished. And now it's all these like intricate little lines that I have to fill in now. Which is annoying because I always keep missing them. And oh no! I keep having to like clean my paint pen, uh, paintbrush, and then uh, back and forth, back and forth. And I don't like doing that because it's not good for the brush either. Yeah. And I'm using my nice brushes for this. What kind of brushes do you use? Uh, I believe these are the ones from the Warham when I bought the Warhammer stuff. This is the oh, cool. Army Painter Perfect. Small Dry Brush. Obviously, it's not using it dry for its intended reason, but I like the angle <laughs> uh, that it has. It works for this. Nice. Uh, oh, here. Andrew Matthews with the two pounds says, my ex is filled with doggos and fellowship. Yes. Hey, that's, that's, I mean, that's a good way to, 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 that's a good stuff to have on your timeline. Just make sure you're like, as much as I love the interaction, make sure that, uh, you're, you're, you're really interacting with those doggo videos and that way you're seeing those a little bit more often too. Like I do that with a lot of like art. I watch, I follow a lot of artists on Twitter mm. and mm. Um, like video game stuff. So like specifically like video game art and that's that stuff I follow quite a bit. Yeah, that's and cool. That's smart. I can always tell when uh, I've been interacting with that stuff more because that's more of what my my timeline is filled with. And uh, it's just, it's it's nice. It's a nice little break. But, oh my god, I'm almost done with Pikachu. And then I get to do Legos. Legos. Oh yeah, you need to do your... Um, what Lego what build that? are you going to do? I'm going to do the crane, the game, the crane game one first. The oh, okay. claw. The claw, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> from uh what, what was the what was the arcade pl pizza castle pizza planet pizza planet, yeah. pizza planet. Mm -hmm. yeah god toy story is like s tier it really is nostalgia i miss those times when things were good mm -hmm. i do and what's crazy is like when i watch you know hercules or Mulan or Toy Story or like any of the films of our childhood it's not like oh nostalgia I love this it's like this is a legitimately like good film mm -hmm. you know and I think that's what a lot of people you know um same thing with comics like I'll review a comic and someone will be like oh well it's just nostalgia you just like it because it's nostalgia it's like no mm -hmm. dude I like this because it's actually like really good <laughs> and it's aged really well um and I don't, I don't think a lot of people, you know, there, there is a lot of nostalgia with it, of course, but uh, a lot of these things just age like fine wine. They're timeless, you know? Mm -hmm. Yeah. I'll be right back. I need to go grab tissue. Okay. I agree. I agree. And like a lot of the movies that I'm watching that are like old, that I haven't seen it. You, I just get enveloped in it because it's good. Oh yeah. Yeah. Like, I watched Demolition Man for the first time this week, and oh my god, it was amazing. Mm -hmm. And so that led us into a uh, a uh, a rabbit hole of all these other different movies that I need to watch. So uh, it's been it's been fun uh, going through and like. Like, my husband is just like, okay, you need to watch this one. You need to watch this one. We're going to add this one to the watch list. We're going to watch this. Good hubby. So, like, I think our next movie that I'm going to watch is Commando. Ooh. Excellent. 
Yeah, that's what uh, Josh and I are doing right now. We're working our way through the Buffy series, and um, nice. that's been a lot of fun. We just watched the episode um, where we find out kind of Angel's origin from season one. Mm -hmm. uh, and, oh, man, I'm I'm on the Angel train, baby. He is so cool now. He has um, such the best... Ugh. I'm um I'm at the end of season two right now is ooh, where okay. I'm at. All right, and, I'm gonna be uh, catching up with you soon. Yeah, it's so um, good. Yeah, uh, I'm I'm really digging it so far, and and that's even like, you know, Josh and I always give it a hard time because it's, you know, season one does have like funny little '90s dated things, but for the most part, I I, I really enjoy it so. Victor's asking, back to 3D material, would you suggest a clear overcoat on the finished painting, or is it better as is? I mean, you can do either one. Um, I'll probably do a, a clear coat over this. Um, just cause. But, I mean, you can, you can go without doing a, a clear coat over it. It's just all about preference. Oh, and I watched, what did I watch last week? Uh, Big Trouble in Little China, I watched for the first time. Nice. Oh, nice. Oh, my God, I, I loved it. got through that movie. I need to watch that again. I keep forgetting it. Like, I don't remember much about it. <laughs> yeah, like, I don't, I, I know that I've seen bits and pieces of it, and I know what it's about. I just, like, never really, like, actually sat down to watch and finish it from, like, start to finish. I I loved it. It was I I just I couldn't look away. It is just it's one of those where I just it was just absolute every single scene was just hilarious. Sorry, right, I'm trying to get into this little nook where the tail is. Um I think it was uh was it Rizgit? I'm trying to find it on um Rizgit for the Bizgit. Someone like on my chat yeah, it was Rizgit. Uh he was saying that he's really looking forward to your content with the new ca uh, camera, Kara. So oh, nice. Thank you. Yeah. Also popping in some uh member emojis. Oh, I love those. Oh, yeah. Those are so funny. Thanks for uh thanks for the emojis, dude. And um yeah, if you guys some. want access to emojis and after party shows and uh some additional content you guys can join the membership um yeah, after i'm gonna party go content fun. It, really, it really is huh um i've had steph steph you've been in the chat on after party stuff you even came on one t on one of the uh when you were uh, testing it member yeah like streams that we were testing it for mm -hmm. so that was a lot of fun too Very yeah. Fun. yeah so um, I'm going to be right back. I'm going to grab some coffee and I shall return. I'm like, I want more coffee. God. The need is strong. I'm just I'm savoring the last few drops of my coffee right now. Oh, I still have a little bit left of mine. Jealous. Jealous. Hi, Jimmy. Hi, Apollo. Oh my gosh. What's up, Apollo? <sighs> I don't know if you guys, do you remember X-Ray Apollo Patriot? Uh, but he's like an OG like watcher. Bagley um, Mario Kart. Right? Yeah, yeah. He would always be in the chat. Still around. Those days Apollo. were. He's um, making his own. He... Those days were good. <laughs> I I do miss I know. playing it a little bit. Uh, sh shout out to the people who still play it after how many years now? <laughs> Cause I I I just was never good at it. And so I'm getting better. I'm getting better. I have I have a once a week streams where I play it with the chat. Noise, noise. So, yeah, they make me better. Uh, my favorite. Uh, was it Lyndon? Lyndon was streaming. My favorite Mario Kart moment was him, and then he found Dan Vask in the Mario. Yeah, he world. found Dan. <laughs> <laughs> just practicing yeah, he's for just, like, playing. Yeah, practicing. He's like, is that Dan Vask? <laughs> <laughs> and it was. <laughs> oh, <laughs> it's amazing! It's like, what's the chances of that happening? 
Yeah. Oh, Apollo says he go, he said I'm the one that made a thousand memes and messed up the website three times. Do you remember that? Like he he would make the craziest like just off the wall memes of everybody. I love memes. And he uploaded like a thousand of them to the website. He was just, he kept doing it over and over and over. And then broke the z- 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 it. He broke the website three times. Nice. <laughs> yeah. Why you gotta go, go break shit? You go down in legend. He is a legend. He's, he's uh, deep in the G&G legend lore. Yeah. What's up, Sate? How you doing? Mm-hmm. Um, mm-hmm. I did check out the trailer for the Penguin Michael. I did. We talked about it earlier, actually. I enjoyed it. I'm looking forward to it. I'm really disappointed that I didn't like uh, uh, Ghostbusters. The new Ghostbusters movie. I'm kind of disappointed in that. Uh, you know, Have I, you guys seen... Oh, go ahead. Oh, it's going to be... I, I expect most of the time to be disappointed by anything lately, so... Yeah. Expect the worst, hope know. for the best type of scenario. I was actually going, I was going into it optimistic. Like, even though I didn't really care for the last movie, it was still okay. Like, it was still fine. This one, though, I, I really didn't like it. Like, I'm 20 minutes into the movie, and I'm already like, oh, man, this sucks. Mm-hmm. Aww. I think a large part of it for me is just, like, it feels like a battered wife syndrome where, you know, you keep hoping for the good stuff, but then you keep getting disappointment after disappointment, and it just... It never improves, for the most part. Mm-hmm. Once every now and then you get, like, a good movie out of how many. Mm-hmm. So then mm-hmm. you just end up expecting always the worst from... Did you guys ever go... Did you guys ever see Wonka? I, I loved Wonka. Kara did. Oh. oh, my gosh. I really loved that movie. I absolutely loved Wonka. I watched it with yeah. Chris Gore before it came out in theaters. And oh, did you? Yes, oh, man, and I, I loved absolutely it. loved it. Yeah, and like I was a lot very of people were like, no, I don't want to see it. Too. Yeah, a lot of people are like, oh, it's not going to be good because you know Johnny Depp's version is still fresh in their mind, and also, you know, no, no, no Gene is going to be like the only Wonka, or whatever. Um, but I was like, you know what, I'm going to give it a shot. Let's see how it goes. I loved it. I I, I watched it three times in theaters. Like I kept going yeah, and seeing it three times. Oh my goodness. Yeah, oh my God. I kept. That's serious. If I was having like, <laughs> yes, if I was having like a, a rough day or just like I was feeling like kind of sad, I would just go and watch Wonka. Like I loved it so much. Wow. wow. It was Andrew so Matthew, good. you're correct. Colin McGregor cannot act in Roadhouse, but his naked scenes were oh hilarious. Oh my God, Colin McGregor in Road. I could not take him seriously. Oh no. But I think. X-Ray has a point because I think a lot of people just noped out on Wonka regardless of whether it was good because they're just like, why am I going to watch another movie from a fran- – like, why are they trying to make the Charlie Charlie and the Chocolate Factory a franchise? You know, like, why are they trying to make this a universe now where it's like, we're doing Wonka's origin story? And it's like, no one asked for this. So um, at least that's my mm-hmm. take, even with X-Men 97 yeah. – um, I've been hearing really great things and I think that the uh, animation looks great. Uh, but for me, mm-hmm. I, I don't need to see it. I have the original 92 and 93 series. Like I, I just, it doesn't interest me. Like do something new. Um, and they just, we're, we're not getting that. And it's unfortunate, but. Yeah. Um, well, I, the, I actually, uh, oh, go ahead. I went into Wonka not knowing what to think. I was like, okay, you know, I'm just going to give this movie a chance and see how it goes, you know? Yeah. But I, I ended up loving it. That was my, that was my feeling exactly. Like, Chris was just like, oh, well, like, if you like musical, like, because I was like, oh, I don't know if I'm going to want to watch this. Because I, w- w- I was just hanging out as his apartment until X-Ray got into town for LA Comic Con. Mm-hmm. And I was just genuinely surprised like, because yeah. I did not go in with, like, I was like, oh, this looks like it's going to be cheesy. I don't like, I, I'm not, I don't think I'm going to like this. He's like, no, give it a shot. So. I loved and it I, so much. I still watch it. Like, I'll, I'll put it on in the background. <laughs> and have it on. <laughs> it's so good. Is it just, like, whimsical? Or what, what about it makes it, um, 
Like, is it just really fun or goofy or? It's fun. It's whimsical. What I like about it truly is that like, you know how in Solo, right? There's just origins to everything. Okay. Like his gun, his name, all that stuff. Right. And I was just like, oh my God. Cause I, in the back of my mind, I was thinking, ah, oh, they're going to, you know, probably it's a, it's supposed to be a sequel to the original Won- Willy Wonka movie. And I was like, oh man, they're going to explain everything and they're going to give him this backstory and it's probably going to be lame. Um, you know, that, that went through my mind, right? That went through my mind, but I went in and I'm thinking, okay, I'm just going to, let's, I'll give it a shot. Let's see what it's about. They don't really explain much. He's just I magical. And I like yeah. that. Yes, I loved it. I love that. He's just, he's just Willy Wonk. He's just magical. He can just do stuff. They don't explain it at all. Mm. They don't explain how he got any of his ingredients. He just has them, you know? Mm. It, and it's so neat. That's what I love about it. I, I loved that they didn't explain anything. They just kind of still left that, 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 w- that sense of wonder. And I, yes. Yes. They left up to the, okay. up to your imagination. It's so wondrous. It's so, it, it's such a great movie. Yeah, I was, it's, it's one like, I've been trying to talk my husband into watching it and he's like, oh, well, I don't know. I don't, I don't know. But <laughs> like, one of my favorite movies, one of my favorite musicals recently was um, The Greatest Showman. Oh my mm-hmm. God. I freaking love that movie. I love so The Greatest I, Showman. <gasps> it is such I a good movie. It. Oh, it's so great. And I'm finally done with my shocked Pikachu. He's so cute. Nice. Oh he's so cute. You look so good. Let's see. Oh, he's adorable. <laughs> oh my gosh, shocked that looks so me. great. I cannot wait to post he's... him up. He's so we cute. We made it. <laughs> you need to put him next to the uh, to the uh, little Devil? Johnson, you have oh, the little pee pee. Yeah, oh, he, he, that would he be shocked. A good reaction. Yeah, he shocked the pee pee. <laughs> have I seen the original Roadhouse? No, I have not. Um, but have we did add it to the watch list. Um, but I don't. I just. I freaking. I. Right or Jake Gyllenhaal just needs to drink some water in Roadhouse. He his his muscles <laughs> are way too uh, bulging. Um, but I just I just I really enjoyed. Um, I really enjoyed Greatest Showman. I really enjoyed Wonka. I was just genuinely happy whenever I watched those movies. They just kind of ha- They just. Like the greatest show, the soundtrack for Greatest Showman is one that I'll put on. Like if I'm having a rough day and I need to get like motivated to do something. Uh, also, I listen to that soundtrack almost Zendaya. daily. Zendaya, that will be one thing I like her in. Yeah, because mm-hmm. that that worked really mm-hmm. well for her wheelhouse. So yes, such a great movie. If you haven't checked it out, you need to watch The Greatest Showman. It's such it's a great really movie. really good. If you like musicals, yeah. if you don't. Don't worry about it. I understand. <laughs> I tried to I make mean, Mark watch it. He was like, "No, nah, this is not my thing." <laughs> <laughs> no, like we, my husband, my husband and I went and go, went to watch it in theaters, and then okay. like uh, we both went to go use the bathroom after the movie. And by the time we met back uh, in the um, like in the hallway, he had already bought the soundtrack for it. Oh well, <laughs> he knows mm-hmm. you so well. Yes, it's so good. It is so, so good. It's not good. I, I had it on like full repeat for a couple of months. So oh, easy, easily. Uh, favorite uh, piece in it, I think, is the one where that the, they're at the bar. What's that song called again? Shoot. Um, the uh, other side. One. The other that side. one or the other side? The other side. I think it's the other side. Yeah, okay. I really like the other side. I like relight yep. the stars. That's one of my favorite songs. No. Oh yeah, I really like the never enough one. Oh. Her voice. So, so the girl that plays Jenny Lynn doesn't uh-huh. actually sing that song. She, she doesn't. Listening. It was the girl that was actually. Was she on American Idol or was she yeah. on the Voice? I think it was the. Was she on the Voice? And it's funny because I thought it was the Voice, not American Idol. I don't know. One of the singing shows. Um, yeah, one of the singing shows. But she, she mm-hmm. was just like, I could, I cannot sing this song as good as her. So I'm just gonna let her have it. There's no yeah. way that she could. 
that she can see. And they really, they, they really worked with each other to learn each other's movements and Mm -hmm. how they sing and how they breathe. Like they really worked with, they worked well with each other on making it look like Rebecca Ferguson wasn't just lip syncing. Mm -hmm. Yeah. I think she's the only one that does that lip syncs in that movie. Everybody else sings. She is. She's the only one who does. Yeah. Yeah, she's the only one who lip syncs in that movie. Um, Michael says, A Million Dreams is my favorite song. Oh, I love that song, too. Yeah. I, honestly, the whole soundtrack is so good. It mm-hmm. really is. It's like It really is kind there. of hard to like pick a favorite, even though like I love Rewrite the Stars. After that, it's like, I don't even know what song I would pick oh, after that. Oh, that beginning song with the, oh, I'm like, oh. oh. Let's go. Oh, it just starts on fire. <laughs> oh, I love it. <laughs> Million dreams. Gosh, it's just so good. All right, guys, it is noon, so I'm I need to get starving. Some food. Oh my god, Oops. I know. I'm so hungry. <laughs> <laughs> okay, it is almost done. Oh, it actually looks very good from behind. That's what she said. Oh, that's what she said. Oh. <laughs> Ooh. Oh, my lot. Would that be more of a that's what he said or that's what she said? Both? Maybe he? Both? I would, more, I would hope he, but you know. <laughs> I don't judge. <laughs> just don't do it with me. <laughs> <laughs> if that's what she said. I'm just saying. <laughs> uh, yeah, I'm well- going to get out chat. I will. I do have the stream set up to redirect to uh, the Hell Divers stream for Sunday Fun Day. Um, nice. And obviously, if you're not following the lovely people in this channel or in this chat, uh, make sure you're going and hanging out with them as well. Yeah. Uh, Steph, you stream. Are you streaming again later today? I am. Yes, I have mm-hmm. Talk Nerdy, and then I will be streaming. I will be gaming Wait, later is on. Is Talk like Nerdy officially on Sundays now? It is. Yeah, it's ah, officially on Sundays. We okay, switched okay. it around. Thanks, 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 thanks. Nice. Perfect. And then Max is man. Cave? Max, you've got Max's man cave tonight, right? I do. Yeah, I'll be doing that tonight. Uh, we'll be talking about crowdfunding comics. We'll be talking about just films in general. And then we should be talking about some X-Men 97 reviews because Josh actually did watch it and has some really great things to say about it. So, nice. um, yeah, so we'll get his review. And so, yeah, I'll have the guys on tonight and that'll be a lot of fun. But uh, thanks again for Love hanging it. out this morning and uh, yeah. pimping our channels. Uh, X-Ray. Uh, Sunday fun day. In an hour and uh, Forbidden Frontier, 6.30. So, yeah. Nice. And then yeah. I've got Sunday Fun Day here in an hour. And then uh, from there, I will be going to George the Giant Slayer's stream. Um, nice. to, uh, and I'll be on there with Eric this evening. Uh, and Gary as well. Gary will be on there too. Ah. So. Okay. Say hi to those guys for it. Oh, and by the way, X-Ray, I didn't even tell you because I was gone last weekend, but congratulations on one million. I'm oh, sorry I didn't get to call okay. You in I was person, like, what are you talking you know? about? Congratulations yeah. on what? Oh, thank you. Um, you know, yeah. it's it's mostly Gary. I just uh, assist where I can. Yeah. <laughs> we we all know that Gary would be a blind man, and you're helping him walk across the street. Okay, oh, we, <laughs> sure. <laughs> um, we all know how much you do for him and how hard you work. So we we yeah. appreciate you. Cheers, cheers, cheers. Uh, but yeah, follow all these lovely people. And I'll see you guys next time. Thanks, guys. Bye, everybody. Good night, everybody.